come check out five amazing new maps from GameMat.eu. Spiking bits. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear with you again today, checking out the newest hotness from GameMat.eu. They've got, well, they actually have more than five mats out, but that's all we've got here to look at. There's actually one other mat that I noticed, and I was like, Bleh. I really want that one. But I have a new favorite. So coming in hot are two of their 4x4 mats. Now, they have a whole lineup of 4x4 mats over on their site for a number of games, right? Or playing smaller games of Warhammer 40k, if that's your thing. Or even Age of Sigmar uh, for 1,000-point games. It just kind of depends. Remember, in the rule books, they, they say you play on a specific size type map for a specific point kind of level of games. So coming in hot is their 4x4 version of the Quarantine, which is right here. And then they've got their 4x4 version of the Fallout mat, which you've probably seen both of these. Personally, my favorite is the Quarantine mat. It goes with all sorts of different terrain styles from Games Workshop stuff to even the stuff that they sell on GameMat.eu. This, I think, is probably safe to say everybody's first purchase, or it should be your first purchase from GameMat.eu. It's so neutral. It goes with so many different things. It's got that conventional city fight, but also can be um, for a whole bunch of different other games out there as well from like Infinity to Privateer to Rune Wars all, all that stuff that's out there that you need a 4x4 map for and then of course if you're in if you're down with the brown so to speak well we got lots of brown right here there's craters there's texture there's desert the fallout mat is actually pretty dope too this one is also one of my favorites and then we're switching over to the 4x6 mats Oh, and one thing I want to tell you too, we're going to talk about it when we get in closer and show you the texture and talk about the features on these mats here, is these are completely redesigned versions of the 4x6 mats. They didn't just like cut it down and be like, here you go. No, they actually redesigned the mat to be a 4x4 to flow and kind of look good. It isn't just the same mat cut down you know, um, like they didn't even care. They actually put time and effort into the art and everything on here, which definitely shows these guys care. Now, the next mat up is a Winter Realms, I believe it's called, which is a wintry version. We'll call this the Hoth mat. This is a wintry version of a mat we saw previously come out in the air that had a lot of cobblestones and stuff and green texture. Well, this is the winter version of it, and this is a four by six mat right here. And then my new favorite out of the new, the new news, this is Imperial Base, or Rebel Base, as I like to call it. See what I did there? This thing is pretty fresh. Like, this is the interior of, I don't know, Hangar Bay, a spacecraft. You could use it for Infinity. You could use it, I don't even know. You could use this for so many different things, like boarding actions, Zone Mortalis. Well, maybe not, because it doesn't have all the, the squares and stuff. But it is just fresh. Like, this is really forward-thinking design mat. That I, as soon as I saw this, I was like, but, yep. I approve of this. It could even be the inside of an aircraft carrier, almost, or maybe like a helicarrier or something like that. And then last, but certainly not least, is the Wasteland mat, which is a all desert kind of crackled surface that's, I mean, the, the texture, the detail, it's amazing. This will go great with a lot of different games out there, but obviously it's not gonna go with certain things. So this is a more specialized mat. If you need certain things, GameMap.eu has you covered on variety, both variety, price, and also quality because depending on, like I said, whatever size you buy, you're not just gonna get a cut down graphics wise version of you know the original map right there. So let's go in a little closer on these and show you some of the detail and show you how miniatures actually look on these bad boys right here. So here you go, you can see how good models look on these mats right here. They obviously, uh, they're, they're very good looking mats and most models blend right in seamlessly we got my big fatty right here and some of my blood angels from my collection now the mats themselves uh, all of them generally are pretty much the same qualities uh, the smaller mats here these ones that are four foot weigh about 5.5 pounds the larger four by six ones weigh about uh, eight pounds give or take seven and some change uh, they they all are anti-slip. You don't have to worry about that. This is the same material that mouse pads are made of. They got the little grippies on the back. They're two millimeters thick, so they're pretty thick. They're not. They're gonna lay flat. They're not gonna get dog-eared or anything like that. As long as you you know don't leave them hanging over the edge and then rub on you know rub on it like every day or something like that. I don't think you're gonna have any problems. I've had some of these mats for years. Never had a problem with them. They absorb moisture, uh, aka also beer. <laughs> if you have any mishaps. Uh, just get some resolve and it'll come right out of the mat itself. Don't recommend throwing them in a uh, 
washer or any, anything like that. Now, another cool feature is you can probably notice here there, there is some light in the room and it does reflect. It's kind of like a mat. It's not gonna it's not gonna bounce the light. It kind of absorbs it, so it's more of a mat type finish, which is great for showing off your models. And if you want to record battle reports or something like that, these mats are great as well. This is all stuff we talked about in the past, but you know some uh, some folks might not have discovered how good quality. I, there's a lot of mats out there. I've used pretty much all of them from FFGs to front lines uh, to game mat. I think there's another company out there. Haven't used any of their stuff yet, so I can't say for sure about that. But so far, GameMat.eu has impressed me the most with their quality and their reliability year after year. Oh, and another thing too is you can obviously roll dice on these, and they're gonna, you know, be pretty pretty well protected and not like super crazy bouncing around or anything like that. You don't have to worry about, you know, like some of the stuff with Games Workshop Battle uh, Realm of Battle tables where your dice bounce all over the place. These are going to be uh, very well protected. If you drop your models and you come in a little too hot, you don't have to worry about scratching up your, your paint or anything like that. And each mat comes with a cool carry bag as well. Now, pro tip, when you roll these up, roll them so the outside, so the top surface is on the outside. So when you peek into your bag, you can tell <laughs> which mat it is because we just moved the studio, and guess how we rolled up all the mats? <laughs> Not the right way. That's the answer to that question. So I was digging through earlier as we were trying to record a battle report, and let's just say it took a hot minute to find what I was looking for. So don't be a dummy like we were, and make sure you wind them up the right way to put in your battle bag. Okay, let's jump in and take a closer look at all the mats themselves. So first out of the shoot is going to be my all-time personal favorite quarantine mat. Like I said, very versatile mat, goes with a lot of different scenarios. Remember, this is the 4x4, so it's a little bit smaller. You can see uh, the, the new Winter Realms one underneath it. But you can check it out. I mean, get in here tight, take a look at it. I mean, you got rust detail right here, you got grid work, you got hazard stripes, you got trash on the ground, you know, little paint stains, um, all sorts of different paneling and different things, vents, manhole covers, you got vents back here, you've got uh, street markings, like all sorts of different high quality coolness packed into these mats right here. Now also, the 4x4 mats are $44, about 5.5 pounds. They, they do ship from Europe, all these mats ship from Europe. But I tell you what, I've ordered stuff from the West Coast, and I've got it later than stuff I've ordered from GameMat.eu out of Europe. So they do ship FedEx, it does come very fast. It costs a little bit, but it's not more expensive than, like I said, shipping from California, and I'm here on the east coast of the U.S. So very affordable all the way around. The more you buy, the cheaper it is to ship, you know, bulk rates and things like that. And they definitely uh, ship airmail there. And then the next mat is going to be Quarantine, which we can show you right there. Another one of the 4x4s. Now this, again, got a little little fuzzies all over the place. This is also a great mat. Like I said, it's got that great earthy brown texture. Goes well with a lot of bases, a lot of miniatures and things out there. It's got your craters, your crazy detailed stonework here. You've got blasted out city kind of craters. So it works with kind of a couple of different types. You can use, you know, you could say this is city. You can say this is desert, this is wasteland, whatever you want to do. There's also grid work you can see down here in it. And I don't know if you can see it up here, but there's a little bit of tracks that has been kind of over railroad tracks that has kind of been overrun by the sediment and such. And then there's a road that leads up to a road right here. So very cool little details. It's all about the little details. Like I said, they redesigned the 4x4 mats. They don't just cut down the 4x6 ones and then put them out. All right, next up is Winter Realm, a dope looking mat. Obviously, I play Beast Claw Raiders, so this would be the mat for me personally. Might not suit every particular occasion out there that you need for the tabletop, but nonetheless, it is pretty sweet. It's got the sweet cobblestone detail all the way around. Again, this is the winter version of a previous mat we saw in the past that you know had all the green grass and everything all around. It's got a little plateau in the middle, and you can see a little tundra flex in the snow right there. Very well detailed mat. I really, really like this one for my Beast Claw Raiders. And here is the Imperial Base, AKA the Rebel Base. This is a very cool futuristic mat 
that you could use for all sorts of different games out there. Like I said, obviously 40K inside of a starship, but also Infinity to some of those other near future games that are cropping up everywhere. You know, Warzone, a whole bunch of ones that come to mind right off the bat. Now it features all sorts of cool stuff. You've got paneling up in here, all sorts of crazy wiring and things. There's a lot of depth to it. You've got the mooring hooks right here for, I don't know, aircraft, things like that. Electrical kind of box conduit panels to get access right there. And then these look to be elevated positions up here around it with some little cross hatching kind of warning type things right here. And then some more skid plates and stuff and manhole covers and things throughout it. But overall, this is my new favorite out of all of these mats that just came out in this latest round from GameMat.eu. And last but certainly not least is the Wasteland mat, which you see right here. A great cracked surface, kind of multi-use. It's got a little bit of tiering, a little bit of depth to it, some rich browns and some kind of dried out, more cracked earth kind of detail right there. You can see it's it's incredibly well detailed. It's, it's a very busy mat, but from the macro level up here, it doesn't look that busy. When you get down low and you look at it, there's a lot going on. So it's gonna pair well with a lot of uh, kind of neutral type terrain. Now this is the Highlands terrain set from GameMat.eu. You can see it pairs pretty well with it. There's a Badlands one too that's a really, really rich, bright, orangey brown that would definitely pop. It would stand out if that's your thing, but there's a lot of different options. Like a lot of their, their color palettes definitely work work well together with their mats and also their terrain. Now this comes pre-painted. The uh, Highlands train set, 16 piece train set comes pre-painted. It's about 116, but pre-painted for 116, 16 pieces of terrain of this quality right here. You've seen it before on here. I definitely give it four out of five spikies on that one right there. So that's it. That is a look at the new battle mats from, or the new game mats from gamemat.eu of course, but now it's they're not just game mats, they also have terrain and all sorts of different things, and we're actually going to be looking at some of their brand new lines of terrain here in the next video as well. So that's it, head on over there, check them out, check out all they have to offer, and take your game table to the next level with pre-painted terrain and game mats from gamemat.eu.